Hey guys, it's me, and uh, today is Monday, the, I did not plan ahead, 18th, <laughs> and AG had a massive release today, and um, this is the first release I've been excited for in a long time, so I decided that I was going to make a video giving all my impressions on the release. So we're going to go to American Girl's website. I always, always, always wait to type it in so we can look at this with you guys. I am currently expecting a call from my dad, so I'm just letting you guys know that I'll probably have to pause the video at one point and we'll come back. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> I hate this. Okay. Um, oh, because it, it automatically sends me to a generic error and it drives me bananas. So we're going to have to go cheap basically <laughs> okay there we go okay so oh I love that jacket oh <gasps> I want it okay sorry okay <laughs> so we're gonna automatically go into shop and we're just gonna look at the new products because I'm I'm dying right now I need to see everything okay so we have three new dolls Ooh, and a bunk bed okay we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves right now we're gonna we're gonna not do that all right so let's automatically take a look at the new dollies first okay let's see so 78 appears to me to be a number 61 with blonde hair basically and that's fine but, um, in my opinion, I think 61 looks better because her hair is so unique and it's so red and it's so pretty. But this doll still is cute. Her eyes look dead inside just like 61's. <laughs> is it like all of AG's green eyes now that just look dead inside because, um, they just look dead inside. I'm like considering getting a new pair of green eyes for my 61, but that's irrelevant. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. I was even considering, like, exchanging my 61 because I can't handle. Anyway. Oh, my God. This is the doll that I'm most excited for. I'm not going to lie about it. Let's see what it says. Does it say that she has textured hair? Textured black hair, yes. So when I get this doll, because I'm gonna, the Josefina mold is my favorite mold. Um, and... I need a dark skinned one. I was gonna get my first CYO and have it be a dark skinned Josefina mold, but I was so nervous about the faces, and now I don't have to worry about that. So I'm ecstatic, and um, I can't wait to get mine. But I am gonna be rewigging mine because I'm not the biggest fan of textured hair, and I already have Addie who has textured hair, so I don't feel like I need to keep her wig like this. So I'm gonna get um, like a nice wig for her, but. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get to pick out, pick out her face and she's going to just be beautiful. Everyone's going to love her. She's going to be a fan favorite. I am so ready. I'm so ready to have her. Um, she's the next doll I'm going to get from American Girl. And the only doll that I have lined up before her is the second Marie Grace because I need one. But outside of that, she's going to be my next doll that I'm getting from AG. Oh my god, she's beautiful. I love her. I love her so much. I, I'm obsessed. If you can hear my stomach, that was just making a noise right now. I'm sorry. I'm currently having some serious medical issues and I'm in a world of pain, but we're going to ignore that in favor of all this fun stuff. So, yes. Okay, so let me see. Let me see your eyes. It looks like her eyes are like a new shade of green. Oh my god, I want her eyeballs. Are your, what, what do they call your eye color? Hazel. Your eyes are a new shade of hazel, honey. Unless they appear differently in person, your eyes are like a lighter shade of green and I want them in my life. I need a custom with these. Um, so this is 79. This is the other doll that's available. And as you guys can probably tell, she's made to be a Kanani lookalike. <laughs> Yeah. The hair's cute. I love the deep side part. I'm a very big fan of side parts myself. Oh my goodness. She's really cute though. 
I already own Kanani though, so I feel like I don't need another doll that looks like her, but um, this doll really is cute. And if I didn't have Kanani, she would probably be on my list because she's just that adorable. Um, I really like her. Um, so I'm excited to see these dolls in person. I don't know when I'm going to an AGP next, but when I do, I'm excited to see all these girls and all this stuff. It's going to be really awesome. I can already tell. I want those eyes. <laughs> They're so cute. So I'm going to need to plan a custom with green eyes. <laughs> all right. So I guess we're going to go right over here to the bunk bed. I'm also a bit congested, which is weird. But anyway, we're going to ignore that. This looks interesting. Oh. So it can basically become a loft bed. Okay, but my issue with this is where's the ladder? How do you get up to the second story? I mean, you can pretend that your dolls can like jump up there or whatever, but like realistically, where's the ladder? Without a ladder, you can't get up here. And that second bed is going to be useless. But it's really cute. The trimming's cute. It looks like it's weird though just it looks like it's from our generation or something and I don't like it oh my god I'm so congested I might have to like stop for a second and blow my nose because this is bad <laughs> I think I'm having an allergy attack on top of everything else that I'm experiencing and um that's just exactly what I need but anyway oh my goodness I love this I love the little cat pillow it's so cute that little blanket reminds me of like a off-brand baby doll blanket though, and that's not cool. I like the plaid and I like the colors picked for this color scheme, the mint and the pink, and um, I just think it looks cute, but at the same time, it looks cheap to me, so I'm going to have to see it in person and see what I think then, but the $125 price tag for something like this, I think it's a little bit overpriced, but considering a G, I would say that's somewhat decent. I don't know. I'm torn. I love the colors, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. I love the colors. Okay, so the boy's got new pajamas. <gasps> okay. Okay. Okay, I got excited. Oh my god, I just like killed my throat saying that. Okay, all right, let's see. So there's a pair of sushi, sushi, sushi. I can't speak today. I'm so sorry. Pajamas. Oh my god, they're called That's How We Roll PJs. That's so funny. I don't understand why a doll would need sushi pajamas, but I mean, okay. This is fine. I would say Mia needs this because she's obsessed with sushi, but she wouldn't actually wear sushi. So I don't think I'm going to be getting that, but it is cute. I like the colors of it. Okay, I'm excited for this. <laughs> okay. Let me see you, bud. Oh, look how cute that shirt is. It's got like a skyline on it. It looks like it's New York. It says American Girl. Oh, that's so cute. I wish it didn't say American Girl, though. That kind of ruins it. Um, I don't know what these pants are, but um, I don't know that I'm a fan. Like, what? What is this? The orange slippers are totally not something a guy would wear either. They would, they would wear, I don't even know what a guy would wear for slippers. I don't think guys usually wear slippers. It's usually girls who wear slippers. I don't even know what I'm saying. He's so cute though. He's on my wish list. Love that. I love that the guy's got pajamas, but I don't necessarily know that I like them. I think I like what I'm doing, I'm like mixing and matching things that are pajama-like to be pajamas for the guys. So I'm gonna pass. This, however, is what I'm excited for. Oh my god, it's actually Xbox? <gasps> what? Oh my god. And it's 50 bucks. I'm getting two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
A pretend Xbox One S game console that projects 10 different... It projects? Are you just... What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. Oh my god, look. Look, you guys, look at it. Oh my god. I need this in my life. I need this in my life. Oh, what's that do? What's that do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. With built-in speaker. Cord that plugs into personal devices that to play music with. Shut up. Shut up. That is so cool. I'm getting two for my boys. Oh my god, I love these. And they have little handles on the controllers for them to hold. <gasps> I need to get like a mini Nintendo Switch for the dolls. That's that's what I want. <laughs> but the boys would love Xbox. I wish they had like some games. I think this is meant to be like Minecraft maybe. And that's like Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, that's so much fun. I'm going to have so much fun with them using this. In this outfit, though, <gasps> I want it. I need it. It's mine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm in love. I'm in love, you guys. This is the best thing ever. Okay. I'm going to have to, like, add, like, a little tally, like, in the corner or something of the things that I freak out over. And that's number one. <laughs> Wait, no. She's number one. This is number two. Okay. Let's go to the game night set. I don't know that I'm going to freak out over this, but we'll see. Oh my god, it's only 25 bucks? For 25 bucks, I think I have to have this. Wait, what's this do? Pictionary. I've never played... I played Pictionary like a long time ago. New with wipe clean boards. Okay, what's this? That looks like checkers or something. Wait. Oh, it does say checkers because this is a checkers table. Oh, that's so much fun. Oh my god, that's so fun. It has like miniature Pictionary, miniature checkers, and a checkers table. That's cute. I don't know that I need this, but I still think it's really cool. And for 25 bucks, that's amazing. So I mean, I'll have to consider this, but this is really cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. This is so cool. Okay, I think I'm going to have to have two tallies. One for things that I have to have and one for things I freak out over. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I don't end up doing the tallies because I might not do it, then the screen will just be blank. But I'm allowing myself to keep the options open because I think it's interesting. It'll be more difficult to edit later, though. That's the only issue. 75 That's even cheaper than my guess. <gasps> oh. My. God. Okay, so this is called a three-in-one game night table. A multi-game table with American Girl doll-shaped figure. What? 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 Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh. I want to see the figures. Oh my god. Guys. I need this in my life. Oh my god. I never knew I needed this in my life until now. But oh my god. It's got a ping pong table. It's got a foosball table. And it's got an air hockey table. This could not get any cooler. Oh my god. It's got a little scoreboard on the bottom. <gasps> Dude. I'm dead. I am deceased. I need this in my life. It's only 75 bucks. My boys would thank me. I'm going to make like a um, rec room in my dollhouse. It's official. I'm going to make a rec room with this and this and it's going to be great. It's going to be so fun. We're going to have a gaming area. We're going to have a game night table. We're going to have this and it's going to be cool. The guys are going to love it. It's going to be like their man cave or something. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm deceased. That was beautiful.
Okay. Oh, wait, the, don't zoom in. Okay, so I... Okay, first of all, this outfit looks really cute on 64. I am going to give it that. But it's not exactly my type. So it's called Cool Colors, which makes sense considering it's colorful. Um, I want those shoes, though. I want those shoes for my boys. So I'll probably get the shoes separately off eBay, but I'm not interested in the rest of the outfit. <sighs> I won't lie about it. I'm not interested in color block things like, well, that's not color block, but like I'm not interested in things like this. It's too abstract for my taste, and if it's abstract for my taste, it's abstract for my doll's tastes. Um, I'm not very into headbands that are like this. I'm typically more into the ones that you just stick over the head that are like horseshoe shaped, basically. Um, and I rarely use those either. I'm more into hair bows than anything. I like my little hair bows. The jeans or the jeggings or whatever are cute. It looks like they have functioning pockets, which is awesome, but the color is not one that I need in my life. I don't have many things that can match with this, and that's kind of a deal breaker. However, these shoes are perfect boy shoes, and for that reason, I'm getting them. I don't care what I have to do to get them, but I'm going to get them, and it's going to be lovely. So... Keep an eye out for me getting these and me gushing over those. But a pair of shoes with the last stylish blue stripes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like the shoes. <laughs> I'm funny. It's nice to laugh at yourself every once in a while, okay? All right. Okay, let's see. Cool camo outfit. Yeah, this is the first AG boy outfit that I'm going to buy. This reminds me of something you get off Etsy, and I absolutely love that. It's so nice looking. It looks like it's like a light denim. It looks like it has working buttons, which is the best thing ever. And then like the sweatshirt material. And we've got camo pants and then orange and green sneakers, which are going to be interesting to pair with things, but I like them. That's going on my wish list. I need this in my life. I love this. And the mix and match potential for these pieces are high. Minus maybe the shoes. But everything else is very, very versatile. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I need it. Alright, that's going on my wish list. I'm going to have to like prioritize everything here. Sorry, my mom texted me. Anyway. And I have to text her back because I'm currently having a health crisis, like I said. I mean, I'm not dying, but it's not good. This is something I need, though. Mia, like I said, Mia's obsessed with sushi, and she needs it in her life. So. Oh, my God. Let's see. What comes with this? Sushi board for serving. Okay. That's this. One piece of Nigeria shrimp and one piece of rainbow roll sushi. I'm assuming this is rainbow roll. And that looks like it's shrimp. Oh, and one, two classic sushi rolls. Oh, n these are classic sushi rolls. So I guess that's rainbow, no. No, these are classic sushi rolls. I don't even know what I'm saying. One piece of green dragon roll. This is green dragon roll. But that looks like Nigeri. I'm confused. Classic container of trio of sushi accompaniments, including pickled ginger to cleanse the palate, soy sauce for dipping, and spicy wasabi. Yep, 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 yep. Ginger, soy sauce, wasabi. I know my sushi. I've my best friend loves sushi and. These chopsticks with the finger loops. I need this in my life. This is the best thing ever. Two elegantly curved plates and two cups with a cherry blossom print. I love this. This set is my livelihood. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to have Mia and Jake go on sushi dates. Oh, this makes me so happy. Sushi dates. That's a must-have. 
this is also a must have. And I love the pricing on these. 25 bucks is so nice. So let's see, we got pepperoni pizza and ice cream and sparkling water. Strawberry sparkling water. But if we ignore the sparkling water, that's like my dream dinner right here. Pizza and ice cream. This is necessary in my life. A delicious pepperoni pizza in a cardboard box with two removable slices. I wish all the slices were removable, but alas. And two plates for serving. Two sparkling water drinks dolls can hold with colorful straws for sipping. Oh yes, it's got a handle. That's nice. Two bowls with two scoops of ice cream. I'm going to assume they're glued to the bowls, but I don't mind that. With yummy chocolate syrup, candy pieces, and whipped cream. That's like the best ice cream sundae ever. Mia needs that too. <laughs> and the pizza. Everybody just needs food, okay? Plus two metal spoons for digging in. Yes, I want the I want the spoon. I want the spoon. I need it. I need this. I need this set. This set's the best. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my god, you guys see this? They're separate pieces. They're separate pieces. The ice cream is clumped together, but <gasps> I can make cereal and stuff to put in the in the soup and the, the to put in the bowls. And I love these plain plates. Okay, this is this is a must-have. I need this. This is the best thing in the world. It's like my dolls can have my favorite meal with me or without me. I that, no words. I I I can't handle every. I can't handle this. This is too great. Whoa! It's already back ordered. Okay, hold the phone here. American Girl RC sports car. Okay, so first. And foremost, I'm going to need to insert a picture of the Walmart brand car, like right here, right next to this. And you guys need to tell me if you think that this looks just like the Walmart car that is way cheaper. It is cool that this is remote controlled, though. The Walmart car, I don't believe, is remote controlled. <gasps> Okay, this is really cool. <laughs> it looks like a real car. Oh my god. That's better than my car. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so it's a remote controlled. It looks like it's got plush seats, does it? Plush seats. I want to see plush seats. Um, It does not say. Okay. Um... Okay, two seat sports car with working headlights. Sweet. Tail lights. Sweet. And horn. Hell yeah. Doors that open and close. Duh. A cup holder between the seats. Wait, what? What do you mean there's a cup holder? Did I not? Did I miss that? Oh, I think that's this. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, so they've got a cup holder. That's awesome. An adjustable rear view mirror. I'm assuming that's a this. Actually, that is this. I don't know why I said I'm assuming. That is that. I know what a car's like. I have one and I drive one. And seatbelts for safety. Well, duh. American Girl's not going to make a car without seatbelts. That would be... Oh, I don't even have words for how bad that would be. Um, in multiple different ways. Remote control for steering forward or backward. Rechargeable battery pack and charger, a sheet of stickers to customize her license plate. Oh my god, this is so cool. It says American Girl. Oh my god. Okay, 215 for a 18 inch doll remote control car from American Girl. I would say that's better in comparison to Julie's $300 car that didn't have opening and closing doors. And I don't remember the exact features of it. I'll have to like insert a picture here and then like a little description or something at the bottom of what Julie's car did. Because I don't remember. Um, but from what I remember, Julie's car really didn't do anything. And it was $300. And it was just literally a giant hunk of metal in the shape of a car. Um, so I want to say that this is the better deal. It definitely is the better deal. But um, $215 is still really steep in comparison to the um, 
our generation cars and the um my life has car that looks just like this that came from walmart and both of which are much much cheaper so i personally don't need a car i actually got rid of my heart generation car because i never used it um But if this is your cup of tea and you want it for like videos or you have a son who wants to have his doll be able to drive a car, then absolutely go for this because it sounds like it has a lot of play value and it sounds really interactive and really fun. Um, but mm, for me personally, it's a hard pass. I'm so congested. It isn't even funny. <gasps> um, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, this is going to be something that I need in my life. You guys. A doll skate park. Skate ramp with a built-in doghouse. I don't know anybody who has a built-in doghouse in their thing, but okay. And a flip-up workbench for working on the board. This. That's so cool. A customizable skateboard. Four coral wheels and four green wheels that could be interchanged. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Two coral trucks and two silver trucks that attach to the underside of the board. Okay, that is the coolest thing ever. A teal helmet and matching elbow pads and knee pads. See those? Those are cool. A grind rail for practicing tricks. I know what it, I know what all these things are because my brother used to skate all the time. Pretend skate wax. Yep, I remember that. A sticker sheet for decorating the ramp and skateboard, and then the chocolate lab puppies sold separately. That's so funny. But oh my god, this is so cool. I really don't have space for this. Oh my god, it says skate wax on the thing. But this is the coolest thing ever. If I had the room for this, I would have a pretend ladder on the side. Why couldn't they have put a pretend ladder on the freaking bunk bed? Enough said. <laughs> $100 is a very fair price for this. Although it looks like it's made out of some cheapy, cheapy plastic. Um, I need to see these things in person before I assume the quality, but I can usually tell just by looking at it. The actual pieces like this and that, that's actually, this grind rail looks better than the ramps. I don't know, but considering you get a skateboard, a helmet and guards, and then all these little accessories, and you also get the bigger pieces, a hundred bucks seems very reasonable from American Girl so that gets a big 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 thumbs up from me and if I had the space I would totally get it but I don't I don't I don't I don't oh my god there's so many new things I can't handle this okay um <laughs> good vibe skate outfit this reminds me of my best friend and she actually said that she needed this and I totally agree because the second I saw the good vibe shirt and um all the different coloring it just it screamed my best friend's name so and she said earlier today that she needs this and I agree because this totally just has her name written all over <laughs> um I love the shorts and I want these shoes with everything in me the good vibes shirt is totally my friend um because she's kind of hippie-ish <laughs> um I don't know though I also like this hat. The hat's cool. For myself, though, I really just want the shoes. I'm not really interested in the rest of the outfit. My, maybe, 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 maybe the shorts, but the shoes. The shoes have stolen my heart. Yet again. <laughs> um... The hat looks like it's made of a really nice material, and so does this little vest thing. But I'm not the biggest fan of vests like this anymore. 
they're, I don't know if they're outdated in the kids' world, but at least in my mind, they're outdated, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. 32 is kind of expensive seeing all the other prices, but it does have a few more pieces, I guess. You can't really see me doing an eye roll, but I was doing a mini eye roll. Not intentionally. It just came out. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. The competition cheer outfit. That's adorable. I love the big hair bow. I, <laughs> I love hair bows. I don't have any dolls that are cheerleaders, but... Oh, I like the shorts. I didn't realize that there were shorts on underneath that. I guess it makes sense. Oh, it's a scrunchie. Cute. I don't like these shoot. Wait, what? Infinity logo. Where is that from? Where is that from? Where? Is that? Ni no, that's not Nike. I think the shoes are really weirdly shaped. But the fact that it said... It TM as in it's trademarked? What the hell does that mean? That's weird. I don't know. I think this is really cute though and it looks really authentic to what um, 10 year old girls or even 12 year old girls would wear to like a cheer competition. So I like this. I don't have any dolls that are cheerleaders and I should change that but this actually reminds me of my friend who had both of her dolls that I that were like my favorites be cheerleaders. I'll have to like send this to her and be like, look, <laughs> cheer outfits. <sighs> oh, and this one's a cheer practice outfit. Okay. Looks like we got a lot of sports stuff. Okay. This is cute. Is that like a one piece underneath though? <gasps> it's a sports bra and matching pants. Are you kidding? I need this for my athletic doll. I need this for my athletic doll. Although I would prefer it if it was, um, it didn't have the cheer on for her. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get something from Etsy instead because she's not a cheerleader. She just likes doing yoga and meditating and hiking and stuff like that. This is so cute, though. I like this. So cute. I love the colors, too, and the pattern. It looks really nice. <laughs> I'm suffocating. Infinity. Infinity again? What is infinity? I need to like look this up because I am genuinely confused. Pretend teasing count. That's cool. Five ponytail holders. Okay. Two cheer bows. The ten, yep. Three st sticker sheet. Ooh, sticker sheets. To decorate the doll's face and arms. Okay. Pretend water bottle to keep her hydrated and... A Blue backpack with the sparkly infinity logo. I need to look this up. For $30, though, this is not that bad. It would be better if it was $25 because I don't think it's earned the $30, but you know, for you cheerleaders out there, you're getting represented big time this release. Gymnast, dance, basketball, okay. So much. <laughs> Oh, Star Gymnast. I love this leotard. <gasps> I love it. Blue long sleeve leotard with rhinestone details and shooting star graphics. Pink shorts for warm up. Pair of fabric slippers and a headband plus a pair of hair bands to keep the hair back. Two wrist guards to protect and support. A winning medal certificate for your hard work pays off. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. If you guys are gymnasts, I love this Leo. I love the Leo. So cute. If you guys are gymnasts, this looks really cute. 
I, however, have Leo's and stuff from McKenna's reign as Girl of the Year, and she's one of, well, I have a couple gymnasts, but I don't need any more gymnastic things, so I'm going to pass on this, but it's so cute. I love the Leo. I don't really know where the pink fits in, but I mean, it's American Girl. Let's be real. They're going to have pink. It's just how American Girl is. However, this release does not seem very dominated by pink, and I like that a lot. Oopsie. So, we'll continue on and see what's going on here. Sparkling Star Dance Outfit. Um, I am not a fan of this. Red Dance Leotard. Okay, black glittery cropped t black top. Oh. Black tiered skirt that's covered in sequins, matching sequin wrist cuffs and headband. Black jazz shoes. Okay. I don't know, you guys. I'm not a fan of this. Especially these shoes. I hate these shoes with the elastic that they put here and on the sides. It looks like bitty baby shoes, and I hate it when they do that. The crop top looks kind of cute. It reminds me of Luciana. This is weird to me. I don't. I don't know. And I'm not a fan. And for 32, no, go away. <laughs> I'm harsh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that harsh. Okay. Basketball. Heck yeah! Oh, this is cute. This could be worn for the guys, too. Wait, what are these sneakers? <gasps> I love these sneakers. Those are so cute. I love this outfit. That's so cute. <gasps> Look, the guys are wearing it! Okay, so this is for boys and girls, and I love that. So you could have, like, a team... If you got like a couple of these, you could have like a team of like a couple boys or a couple girls or a mix. And I think that's like the coolest thing ever. And these sneakers are epic. I want the sneakers. <laughs> I don't need anything else. I just want the sneakers. I'll just take the sneakers, please. Thank you. <laughs> I like this a lot. I don't have any need for a basketball outfit because I don't have anybody that plays basketball, but. You never know. Maybe someone will. Maybe I could pick somebody to do it. Okay, right off the bat, I can just say that this looks like our generation. Because our generation literally had a set just like this. I'm going to insert a picture right here. And our generation set was like $6.99. While a G set is 30 whopping dollars. Um... However, it looks like this one actually is interactive. A model volcano that actually erupts when the experiment instructions are followed. So, this one, if you actually follow the instructions, I'm assuming it comes with like an instruction booklet or whatever, um, and you actually follow the instructions and do it inside this volcano, it will actually erupt. But the Art Generation one lights up. So, um, potato, potato, in my opinion. So it comes with like all the things you need for the volcano um, project. And these look like Art Generation mixing, like not mixing. Tablespoons. Just saying. So, I'm not very excited about this. And for 30 bucks, no. Compared to the Our Generation one, just no thanks. Hard pass. This outfit looks so cute, though. I want to see this outfit. This ready to learn outfit. My doll Elizabeth would love this. So, let's see here. Is that a plastic hair bow? Is that a plastic hair bow? <gasps> that 
is a disgrace. I can't tell you how mad I am right now. That is a disgrace. How could they do that to a beautiful hair bow? Oh my god, I'm heartbroken. Okay. We're just gonna we're gonna try to forget about that. It looks like we've got a neck scarf, which is a cute print to it. We've got a blazer. I think that's dark purple. We got a pink tank top here with the number two on it. Don't know what the number two was to do with anything, but okay. This plaid skirt is my livelihood, though, and I need it in my life for Lizzie, my baby. Oh, and I love these. The little socks are so cute. I'm not very fond of these shoes, though. And that bag is adorable. I love this bag. It looks like a little storybook, don't you think? I think it looks like a little storybook. I think it's cute. Wait, does it open? It has to open. Yeah, it opens. Just on the other side. This is adorable. It looks like a... Like, when you put it all together, it looks like something kind of threw up. Which isn't good. So what I would do is I would change the shoes to, like, something, f like, black. So that it was very neutral probably change the socks to white and then I would get like a plain white short sleeve or tank top or something and put it underneath instead remove the necktie and remove this hideous hair bow and that's what I would do I would only use this and this and maybe the socks and I would consider using the bag but I mean it guys it's just this outfit makes me happy and sad so I'm torn on what I would want to do with this. However, I wonder if I could double as a hair bow. Hmm. <laughs> I think it would be a little too small to go around the doll's head. But this looks very mermaid-like. That's what. That's why I was thinking, ooh, hair bow. But I don't think it'll work. Boo! What? Maybe if you retied the actual hair bow so that it was like a little bit less long on the edges and it gave it extra room I don't know probably not anyway that hair bow is a disgrace I want to burn it um I'm on the fence with this one I like the concept but the way it was executed no and for 34 I'd rather go to Etsy no I'll pass I'll pass this dog is so cute. It's my livelihood. I want this dog. Look how cute the face is. It's so cute. Wheaton Terrier. Everyone loves a rambunc uh, 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 Everyone loves a playful pet, and this rambunctious Wheaton Terrier puppy is ready to make dolls laugh. She has soft fur and a body that can be posed in different positions. A magnet in her mouth lets her hold her favorite toy. Oh my God! This pet is so cute. Bella, you want a puppy? <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I'm like trying to find somebody who needs a puppy, but it's not Lazy, and it's not Mia, and it's not Elizabeth, so it's probably going to end up being Bella. <laughs> it's so cute. Why are we having spinning wheel of death right now? That's not good. I love that puppy. I don't know that I need another doll puppy. I have a lot of American Girl doll dogs. But, you yeah, know, this is fine. Oh my God, shut up. Today is International Sushi Day. That's ironic. <laughs> okay, good, we're still recording. Donut pet bed? Really? That's cute. Combined with the pillow. That's cute. But for 26 bucks. No. Oh no. I'll pass if it's $26. But otherwise it's really cute. Oh 
<gasps> I need this. I need the sweet earrings. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What did I just do? Rough and ready pet outfit. It's got like a leather jacket with fur and a bone for $18. No, 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 no. Okay, so I instantly needed these earrings. These have my children written all over it. Oh, they're so cute. I don't like the mix and match concept. So that kind of sucks. But outside of it, it's so cute. I need these. I'm putting them on my list. And this bracelet set. <gasps> Oh, this is so cute. Your doll's going to have best friends forever bracelets. And I love this one with the tassel. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. I need that too. What's this watch look like? Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute. If it looked a little bit more real, I would absolutely get it, but it looks a little cheap to me, so we're going to pass on that. Does this, though, give me the option to see it on the doll's wrist? It probably doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Luciana's Starry Night outfit. Okay, so this is Luciana's... Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that! I wanted to see the full view. For Luciana's new outfit. So this is Luciana's like middle of the year outfit. And they typically release one outfit in the middle of the year. I am not a fan of this. This makes me sad. It actually makes me really sad. Here we are with pom-poms on the head again. The shoes are cute. Really? For $32? No, 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 no. Go away. No. This looks cute, though. I know this goes with the outfit, but I would consider going for separates. Let's see. A purse, purple purse shaped like Saturn. That's kind of cute. Set of hair elastics to keep her do neat. Yes. Make believe lip gloss. A golden ring with a glittery stone. And a golden bracelet with moon, planet, and star charm. These are adorable. I love the jewelry. And a pretend passport to travel to Chile to visit her family. That's so cute. Can we see? Oh, look at the bracelet on her. I love that ring, though. So cute. I'm going to need to see this in person, but I don't think I need this. I love the jewelry, but the rest of it, it's, it's not me. It isn't, it isn't something I really care for. So I'll pass on Luciana's outfit. What is this monstrosity? Nanea's Luhau dress. Okay, I love these sandals. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I want these sandals in my life. But. Actually, that's not that bad. Now that I'm looking at it, that's not that bad. I like the hair bow. Okay, so I could consider getting this outfit. I'd have to find somebody to wear the dress and look good in it, but I love this pair of shoes and I love the hair bow. So this isn't something I'm jumping up and down for, but I do like it now that I'm looking at it. At first I was like, what is this monstrosity? But now that I have a good look at it, it's not that bad. I'll have to see it in person and make a final decision. But I think it's cute. Right now, I think it's cute. You know who would look cute in this? Leah would look really cute in this. That's who would look cute in this dress. 
Granted, Leah looks cute in everything, so. Yeah, no. If all else fails, put it on Leah and it automatically works. <laughs> Can I was about to say Kanani's. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but that's funny. Nanea's luau set. Oh, cute. 85? What? It's not that cute anymore. Oh my god, what? Wait. Wooden luau table. Three pieces of Kahlua meat. Okay. Two coconut drinks. The coconut drinks are adorable. I want those in my life. But really? Table runner. Okay. Bowl of poi. I'm assuming that's this. Wait, no, that's this. Bowl of rice and salmon with a lid that comes off for serving. That's this. Slice of pie. Yep. Two red lanterns. Those are pink, but okay. A ripe papaya and a bunch of mangoes. Papaya. Mangoes. Two plates with hibiscus flower patterns. Those plates are beautiful. I like them. Fabric flower lay. Yep. And woven paper grass mat. Yeah. But $85? I'll pass. I'll just buy these off eBay. <laughs> uh. Sorry, guys. My brother just came in. Okay, so let's see this. Kit's gardening outfit. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen something for Kit. I want these boots. I don't need anything else. I just want the boots. They look like little Timberlands! <gasps> I need these. I need these boots. I need them. I need them. I need these boots. I'm going to get these boots. Buy anything absolutely necessary. The flower print looks a little old ladyish to me, I'm not gonna lie. And I love the idea of these overalls, except I don't like the way they're fitting on the doll. I don't know why. So, again, I'm all about the shoes. <laughs> the soles look plastic, but that's okay. I need these boots. I'm getting these boots. I'm gonna get these boots. They're going to be great. Okay, so this outfit's 34 and I don't believe it's worth 34 but I want these shoes in my life, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, it sends me, oh good, I was about to yell. I was like, it's going to send me back the first page. Uh, okay, we're getting close to the end here. A horse. Okay, wait, let's, <laughs> one thing at a time. So Kit also got a gardening stand, and this is $100. This is adorable. We've got berries, and we've got like a little skill, a little money um, box, green beans, apples, carrots. And this like actually looks like something that they kind of scrounged the materials up for and built. So I like the look of it. It looks like it's made out of really cheap materials, but regardless of that, this set looks cute. Beans, carrots, apples, berries. Yep. Oh, that's so cute. Here are all the pieces. Oh, look at Kit running the stand. That's so cute. I could just see her go, thank you, come again. Oh, so cute. It looks like it's a little cheap for a hundred bucks, but the quality looks to be about the same as the um, skate park, which was also a hundred, so could be worse. The gardening accessories, looks like we've got a apron a basket, some lettuce, some peppers. I think those are onions. Yeah, they are onions. And then um, blue jars with like 
preserved peppers and onion and what's it called? Green, green, uh, lettuce. Gosh, that was terrible. Sorry, guys. And it looks like the jars actually have removable lids. So that's kind of cool. <gasps> the stuff comes out. Oh, that is so cool. It totally makes the play more realistic. You could just pretend that, like, Kit, like, cooked the, um, vegetables and then you have Kit open the jars and then put the vegetables in the jars and then they're canned and then you can sell them at the produce stand. Oh, that's so much fun. The basket looks kind of cheap, though. Actually, all of this looks kind of cheap. And for 35 bucks, I don't know, guys. And this is something else. Let's see what this looks like up close. Rebecca's movie premiere outfit. Well, I can't say I have to, I can't complain because this is the first time I think Rebecca's gotten something in a while. Hair bow's kind of cute. I don't know that I like all the colors and textures and... I don't know. I like the shoes. The shoes are cute. I'm iffy on this dress. I mean, it could be cute, I guess. This would look cute on Leah, just with all the really pretty colors. It would just look really good on Leah. Okay, if I had to pick a doll to put this on, it would be Leah. I like the shoes. Oh, the shoes have a Florida Lee on them. Oh, so cute. Wait, I want to see... The shoes have a little bit of a heel to them. That's cute. I don't know where the blue comes in. Oh, it comes in right here. Never mind. These are cute. They would be really good for mixing and matching. But I don't think I need them. $34 is a bit steep, but it's a G. What are you gonna do? Looks like the dolls have a travel seat. We have a new um, two doll tote. BFF AG LOL shirt. And then we have it for girls too. Okay. Okay, Welly Wisher. Welly Wisher! Ribbons and stripes outfit for Welly Wisher's dolls. Oh, honey. Those clogs. No. I like the leggings. Those look nice. I don't know, though, about this dress. I'm on the fence. The headband's cute, though. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. I would say this isn't bad. I'm just not sure. I know whenever I get my Welly Wisher, I'm going to have her probably wear mostly Etsy clothes. Because I just am not interested in most of the Welly Wisher outfits that AG has released. Or that they continue to release, clearly. This, though, is adorable. The popcorn and cotton candy set. This is so cute. We got popcorn and cotton candy and a popcorn maker. Oh, so cute. I wish this was like a bit taller so it could also work for the 18 inch dolls, but since it's made for the Welly Wishers, I understand why it isn't. It's cute though. It's very cute. Cute. 
And $30 is a very good price. Shetland Pony. This is definitely for the wellies. And, um, it's cute. Looks like it's for the carnival. The welly wishers invite their neighbor to the carnival and he brings along the sweet pony. She has a soft flush body with gray spots and wears bridle and reins for leading. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. If you want your dolls to have a pony, there you go. <laughs> so cute. I like her eyes. She has really pretty eyes. Let's see this other outfit. Ringmaster outfit. Emerson's wearing this one. Oh my god, the top hat. It's so cute. This one's cuter. I love the shoes. Those are adorable. Oh my god, the application on the back. That is so cute. I mean, I personally would never use an outfit like this, but it's so cute. I like this one better than the other one. This is cute. I like it. I'd get it if I had a use for it, but I really don't. Carnival game set. Okay. Oh, wow. Carnival stand with a ticket booth on one side and homemade posters on the other. Toss game board with three flower targets. That's this. Win by throwing bee bean bags in the holes. Six colorful flower pots to stack for another toss game with these. Ducks in a row game with duck targets to knock over. Again with these. Two felt finger puppets for prizes. Oh, here they are. Oh, so cute. Paper tickets to collect for the carnival games. Right here. Oh, this set's so cute. I love it. It's so cute. And $48 is a very decent price in my opinion. However, I have zero use for this. And um, that saddens me because then I don't need it. But at the same time, I can put that towards something else. <laughs> carnival snack tray. Well, of course you need snacks if you're going to go to a carnival. What's a carnival without snacks? Okay, so we've got like a snack holder, lollipops, carrots, and some... Oh, it says it's juice. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Look how cute, you guys! I can't handle how cute! Although this dress looks really good on Ashlyn. I was not feeling it on Kendall for whatever reason. It looks much better on Ashlyn. Oh, look how cute you are with your little snack thing. Pineapple juice. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, look, there's a strap that goes around the doll's waist so that it stays. And then this goes like over her neck. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love this. I love this so much. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. I can't handle the cuteness. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got some more Welly Wisher books. And then we've got some bitty baby stuff. As sweet as can be. Oh, look how cute. You're adorable. Oh my god, I love this. <gasps> I want these pajamas in my life. Wait, are the wings separate? Yes, it looks like it's got Velcro though. It's interesting. That is the cutest thing ever. I want these so badly. 
When it's Bitty Baby's bedtime, your girl can dress her in the sweetest honey pajamas. For dream time flights of fancy, it includes detachable shimmery white wings with decorative stitching. Oh my god, I think this has to go on my wish list. It's so cute. Look how cute. I want these so badly. <laughs> I love these. I haven't wanted a bitty baby outfit in years, but this is so cute. I need that. I'm getting that. <laughs> oh, it melts my heart. My heart. So cute. Okay. Sweet Sprinkles birthday outfit. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay, so it's got a birthday hat headband, little shoes. Is that a dress or is that like a skirt? It's a dress. Oh, that's cute. I don't need it, but it's cute, sort of. <laughs> the shoes do not look like they're the best quality. I'm not a fan of the way these shoes look. The outfit's cute, though, and the headband's cute, too, so I would say that that's cute. I don't, I don't want it myself, but I still think it's cute. And then I think this is our last item here. Bitty Baby, Bitty's Birthday Donut Smash Cake. Okay, so if you guys don't know, when a baby it turns one, they get the baby a smash cake. And what the baby does is basically you put the cake in front of them, you sing happy birthday, and then the baby is just allowed to completely, like, smash the cake with their hands. It's a tradition that's been going on for a, a while. I don't know exactly how long, but it's been, like, a long time. Um... Babies just have smash cakes. And it's so cute that American Girl made a smash cake for Bitty Baby. It's adorable. Um, three pretend donuts and three sets of icing in different colors to mix and match. So you, can't, so you have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And then we have pink, blue, and purple icing. And you can mix and match the two of them. And it also looks like you can stack them. And add, there are two different toppers to mix and match. We have, like, a number one birthday candle for, like, baby's first birthday. And then we have this one with little heart-shaped balloons. And then this is, like, icing. A plate for serving the dessert. Yeah, that's this. Um, a cake stand with fluted edges. That's this. So it comes with a cake stand as well. Three cake toppers. Oh, this is a cake topper. Oh, so there's a happy birthday cake topper. There's a number one, like a one candle. And little heart-shaped balloons. That's so cute. Here are all the pieces separated. You've got the donuts, the icing, the toppers, the cake stand, and the plate. That's precious. If I actively played with Bitty Baby, I would totally get this. That's so adorable. I love it. It's so cute. That's like one of the cutest things I've seen in a while. Okay. No, Luciana did get her third book released, so there you go. You have a new Luciana book to read. I own all three of her books. So I have to read them, but I am finishing Gabby's series first, and then I'm going to read Luciana's. So that concludes this video for the release you guys will have to tell me what your favorite item from the release was. I'm going to give you a handful of my favorites from this page because most of my favorites are on this page. 80. The Xbox. Oh, limited quantities. I'm going to have to figure out buying that. Xbox gaming set. 
the game night table, the camo cool outfit, the sushi and pizza party sets, the sweet earrings, the best friends bracelet set, I guess we're going to do an overview of all of this because that's what we're doing. And the sweet as can be PJs. So, what did you guys like from this release? What was your favorite thing? And if there was something that they didn't release that you really would have liked to see, maybe something that went along with this stuff, comment down below and let me know. Because I'm very, very curious as to what you guys think. And, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!